In 1978, Space Invaders was released to the world in a gaming environment that was inspired by Breakout and had yet to fully realize the implications of even games like Pong. But 43 years is a long time, and Space Invaders, while it has gone through many forms and has been changed and rebooted and redone, had new features added into it, has never quite seen a port like this. For Revion Unnamed, the individual who was responsible for Revion TD, which takes the which takes the tower defense genre and changes it up by making it a four-way free-for-all environment in which players not only build towers to defend against invaders, but themselves are economically encouraged to create the invaders that attack their opponents. It has now been re has reimagined Space Invaders and put it into a little war game context. And that mod is Space Invader Rev Mod. However, unlike the four-way free-for-all madness of Revion TD, Revion Unnamed has taken a much simpler approach for Space Invader Rev mod. You and your opponent both are in charge of a barracks. The barracks controls four soldiers or soldier seeming units at the bottom. You can use the barracks to activate which wave of soldiers fire to attack the Space Invaders, or in this game, wolves, that stream down from the top and aim towards the bottom. There is a target, after all, a totem that they're aiming for at the bottom behind all of your barracks units, and if they manage to get there, then so much the better for your opponent as you will lose the game immediately. But because there is a toggling system in play here, you're encouraged to toggle back and forth between each of the four waves. And if you don't find that out, then very quickly you will be finding the victory and defeat screen, favoring its latter representation directly in your face. In the event that you pick it up a bit more quickly, there's more to the mod, despite it being very simple, than its premise would suggest. After all, there is an upgrade that is constantly going on in the background, whose purpose is to do nothing more or less than to make the space invaders that you are automatically spawning to attack your opponent's position faster. Each one of these upgrades increases the speed of the space wolf, if you will, by 0.5 speed. But it doesn't take very long for 0.5 speed to translate into plus 1 or plus 1.5 speed, and when you consider that wolves in the base game have a speed that is something around the order of rate of speed 3, you can easily see how all of a sudden wolves that are speed 4.5, 5.0, 6.0 become even more difficult to target down. After all, you still have to use the barracks to control which of the four lanes are firing, and the wolves will wait for nothing for those barracks units they can phase right through to reach the totem at the end. And so there's not too much more to say about Space Invader Revmon. It's not quite as revolutionary to its own interpretation as Revion Unnamed managed to do with Revion TD. Nevertheless, it is a small, simple experience, and it kind of shows the lie to the idea that you need to have all of these new tools and autocasts and custom sprites and do a bunch of things to make a mod fun and playable. No, you can just reinterpret a game from 1978, throw it inside of Little War Game, and make sure that both players get to play either symmetrically or asymmetrically, and then you have a mod that's worth playing. It's already on page 3, without any fanfare, and I'd like to see it get to page 1. And that way we can relive the joys of 1978 in the present time of 2021.